Welcome to the third chapter. Here we will learn about variables. But first, let's create a Lua file with name variable.lua. If you are running Lua somewhere else, like in your phone or in a specific environment, then don't worry because it is same and you can continue learning on your setup. But I have installed Lua in my PC and will be running code in command prompt. If you are in your phone, then there will be a run button or an option to execute script. You can use that instead of what I am using to run script. If you can't set the extension to Lua then, go to View and tick File Name Extension, and then you can edit the extension. And finally, open the file with any text editor. I am using Notepad++ to open this file. A variable is a name given to some storage space. For example, I want to store the number of my subscribers. Consider this box to be a storage space where my subscriber's number is stored. Then the name of this box is subcount. 4,500 is my data, and the name of this variable is subcount. Obviously, we are not going to paint a box to create a variable. So, to create a variable using code, we write variable name equals value. You can also write a decimal value, like 4,500.5. The subscriber's count will not be in decimal, but you can use this in other places. You can also write a string or a sentence. For example, I can also write, I have 4,500 subscribers. Let's run this script. And here the code runs without any error, but we didn't get any output. What could be the reason? The reason is that we told program to create a variable, but didn't tell it to give you output. The program has created the variable in the background, but we can't see that. To make the program print the variable, we have to use the print function. Type print parentheses and the variable name inside it. Let's run the script. And now we see the output. Let me tell you that we can print anything and it is not necessary for it to be a variable. Typing print, parentheses, quotations marks, and I love my subscribers inside it. Notice that we use quotations marks for a string but not for variable. Run the script And here is the output. So the thing is, you can store any type of value in a variable. Due to this reason, there is no variable types. But there are eight types of value which a variable can store. The first is null, which means valueless. The second type is boolean. It can store either true or false. The third is number, which can be both with or without decimal. And the fourth is string. You can call it a sentence for easy understanding. The remaining are as follows. We will discuss about them in other chapters, so leave them for now. You can print the type of a value by using type function. Let's make it print the type of the variable subcount. And here it says string. You can also do this with other value type. Let's create another variable called 2nd subcount. Then run the script. And this shows some error. The reason of the error is that name a variable. A variable name can have letters, digit, and underscore, but the first character of variable must be either letter or underscore. Here our variable name starts by digit, so it gives error. We can write subcount two, and it will run. We can also write underscore subcount two, and it will work.
Another thing about variable is that it is case sensitive, meaning capital letter and small letter are different. Small and capital subcount are different. Let's run this script. It doesn't give any error like it was giving before. Thanks for watching.